we now are uh, moving towards the the student project as usual this is your sixth session and uh, we've had how many about five student projects already right so it, it's nice it's nice to know that there is someone who you can actually um, actually uh, imitate have <laughs> used the right word imitate because you know um, the student uh, doing the student project serves several purposes one of them of course is is knowing how they did it so you become better at the process the second is to take inspiration from that person and say oh this person has said i can do the similar do a similar way the third is if you are if you're an entrepreneur try and find out if that idea appeals to you then you can you can you can find out if you can collaborate with the person who brought out that idea and and do something to make that idea happen and the fourth thing of course it gives you tremendous confidence in creative thinking because you know that when you go from problem to solution you can and you actually come out with some tangible solution which can be implemented the confidence in your own ability to think through a problem come to a solution is tremendous nothing can beat that so now i'm going to go to the student project the, the name of the student is uh, is sahana sahana gangadharan uh, from iit madras and uh, she um, so her her um, what do you think she would have done first she would have done first she would have chosen a united nations sustainable development goal so now the goal that she's chosen is goal number 6 clean water and sanitation so clean water and sanitation there there there's apparently an emotional connect for her to clean water and sanitation which is why she chose it so this is the target selected now all this is very familiar to you i think if i if i wake up wake you up in your sleep and ask you what's the next step each one of you will say it right and that's how familiar you must be so the targets and indicators that she selected all of them are there so her her her, her goal is a uh, clean water and sanitation ensure access to water and sanitation for all the target selected are uh, you know again this is the so therefore target selected 6.2 6.3 indicators and 6.b and 6.3 these are the targets she selected apparently she's done a lot of work reading up on on the on the goal which is what everyone must do remember remember the connection between information and new ideas don't forget that please then what does she do she looks at the process the spiral and what does the spiral say first is to do define the problem i'm not going to get into detail because i want you to read sahana's uh, notes sahana's ppt but just to guide you through the ppt what we are doing is how might we she is asking the question how might we design facilities to ensure safer sewage management um so therefore she is saying how might we design facilities to ensure safer so her 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 objective is safer sewage management so why is it should she why is it an important problem i don't think anyone needs to argue saying it's not an important problem and she's got enough reasons to say that it's an important problem next is biologize biologize like we said remember uh, ad nauseum to repeat doesn't matter ad nauseum to think that to to understand that biologize means asking the question how does nature accomplish what i want to accomplish in this case what are the three functions that emerge out of the problem statement the three functions in the problem statement are manage sewage treat waste and clean water clean water as in clean here is a verb clean water not not the noun clean water so manage sewage treat waste and clean water and you will find that all the three functions have a verb in them which is an important aspect of a function so therefore the question that she asks how does nature manage waste it's so simple it falls in so logically now so imagine uh, the more important thing is your skill in in finding out what is the function that you want to accomplish how does nature ensure sanitation how does nature clean water right what has she done she is discovered she gone to discover naturally and there she spoken about something called eco machines she has described eco machines and she has spoken about e eco machines look at the last paragraph they move water using dendritic principle several interconnected cells so 
I, when I read Sahana's project for the first time, I knew there was something about a lot of interconnections, water having to go through several, several filters. That's what I understood the minute I saw that and that's what I think she's trying to convey. And then what does she say? She looks at the kidney. I think very, very rare, normally one would look at outside the, the, the body to look at organisms. Here she's saying, let me look at my own kidney. And what does she, she find? That uh, the kidneys purify blood, purifies, uh, purifies blood, maintains electrolyte concentration, captures, look at the same thing, it's coming back, the idea is coming back to captures, absorbs, filters water. And she she go on, goes on to looking at the kidney and all that. She just, you, you can read all these descriptions on your own. Otherwise, you'll get bored if I keep on reading it line by line. So here she she's actually um, talked about something called biolytics water filter. If you look at the second paragraph, you'll understand why she's talking about it. She's saying treatment of sewage, how forest litter decomposes insects, Insects, microbes convert waste and humus, which into humus, which acts as a filter. So here she is talking about several organisms that filter waste, and she describes what is called a biolytics water filter. So what, how I interpret it is because what I learned from Sahana is that this, if I, if I read about the water filter, I understand what nature does. So this is her discover. The next one is abstract. So how do I translate the biological strategy to a design strategy? So she is abstracted design strategy. She's made some drawings, very, very clear. You look at, you look at this paragraph where you'll start to understand how easy she's made the process of filtration. And she's done one more abstract to explain it even more deeply how interacting organisms in the ecosystem filter waste. So her whole thing is about filtering, interacting organisms, etc, etc. Again, she's done one more abstract, made it even more simple. She's actually drawn pictures to help us understand what she has in mind. How does nature accomplish the function that she wants to accomplish? How does nature clean water, etc. So there's one nice word here called stepwise architecture of ecosystems. Maybe you can Google that. Then she does emulate. You know emulate is idea. So here she's got an emulate idea. How do I apply the bio-inspired strategy to the problem I wish to address? So please read it. I'm going to give you, you, you can pause the video now and read how she does the emulate. And if you have some questions on this, you can you can use the live sessions for the questions or you can write to us and ask some questions about, about this idea if you're interested in, the, in this idea. Again, she's made it, you know, her idea is going towards, I think, having beds. I think as we will see, she's having some beds to make the water filter from one bed to the other bed and all that. And finally, of course, she's talking about evaluate. She's talking about evaluate. So from, from emulate, so therefore her emulate idea is suburban wastewater management system design. She has, she has, she has written down the design. The system design is hierarchy and works by filtering waste materials in every level. So every level it's being, it's being filtered. Each compartment has two sections to employ a separate separation, separation, empl so she's employing separation using osmotic pressure difference. The pressure inducing pitch is instilled on the left and on the left end to speed up the above process. Right? Pressure inducing patch. Pressure inducing patch. The cross section of pipes that connect every compartment has intricate internal structure that enables to absorb nutrients. This multi layer design, albeit slow, is e economical and filters nutrient rich water from sewage effectively. So, this is her system that she's created. And from the emulate, from her idea of her system, she's gone on to evaluate. How can my solution be applied in the real world? How will I follow nat nature's design principles? So she's saying nature recycles all materials. So she's followed that principles. Nature uses chemistry and materials that are safe for living beings. 
in her in her design she is not using anything toxic or unsafe so what are the next steps that she wants to do identify materials required ensure the working of a single compartment before deploying the entire system it's a very clever way of doing it and treat the final output stream with water softener to make it fit for drinking so water softener i'm sure is going to be non toxic and finally she's created a, a, a water filtration system simply because she intended to do it so the the cornerstone of creative thinking is intention or willingness to be creative by by showing us these student projects we are hoping that we are making more and more of you willing to be creative